Hey guys. Ooh, child, it's windy out there. We're doing a little vloggy vlog today, child. Because I have a lot of errands to run. Just to let y'all know, the reason why I'm wearing a face mask in my car is because I am running errands. I am going to be stopping at several places. Some may require a mask, some may not, but COVID as of right now is not going anywhere. So I'm just going to, you know, use my universal precaution and wear my mask everywhere I go. So I'm going to the post office and I'm going to UPS. I ordered some things from Nike. I gotta drop those off. And I have some packages I gotta go pick up from the postal office. As you all know, I am a wig maker. I make wigs, I construct them, and I do all sorts of stuff um, for my business. Some clients actually sent me in bundles. They sent in their own bundles to have a wig construction done. And I have another client, I think she's sending me a whole wig to remake. So now I am leaving the UPS store. We're off to the post office. Alright, so the P.O. box, see what we got. Oh, ain't ready to be. Okay, okay I'm gonna stand in line now. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hi, how can I help you? Walked up in here. I know somebody's up. <laughs> She turned seven months on the 15th, so we're trying to get her legs going so she could be walking. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Hold on, hold on. <gasps> Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. She said bye. So I thought I was going to get to work, but she kind of needs my attention right now, so I'm going to give her... So mommy and me time, but let me show you guys what I am currently working on. So these are um, some bundles that need to be made into a wig. These are the orders where the customer actually supplies their own hair. So I put them in this box for now. And then I have these custom custom wigs for clients who've already ordered, um, you know, the virgin hair, um, custom wigs. Um, and I'm also processing bundle and closure orders too. These are what I've made so far today. So, so far I have about two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, so I have 10 wigs that I've made so far today. We are busy. I'm so proud of us. Look at, look, look at us. I'm going to get it together. I have to. I'm going to do a lot more large cap and medium cap wigs, and then I'm going to work on extra large cap wigs later on all right so i finally got around to going through the bundles that the customers or my customers have sent in they're all separated and good to go now we're about to get to work and the sun is going down i work better in the nighttime anyways okay so this is actually the following day as you guys can see i didn't get any footage of me actually working on any of the orders yesterday because I ended up not working on any of the orders. I, I just went to sleep. So here I just have like all of the large, medium, and extra large wig caps that I'll be using for today. I already have three wig caps ready to go. I had to bring out the heavy duty machine today to double a lot of those tracks. I'm starting on these just to make sure that the machine is all good to go before I work on the rest today I plan on completing 10 wigs five to ten wigs today so we're going to see how that goes so I'll come back once you know I've done a little something something just to give you all an update in these clips I'm pretty much showing you all how I sold the lace closure down onto the wig cap prior to actually constructing the wig long long time ago when I first started making wigs I used to do the lace last but honestly doing it this way the lace first doing this method allows for my whole entire wig construction um you know it just allows it to go up by a lot faster because once I am 
done with the machine all i have to focus on is pretty much styling the unit customizing the closure or the frontal and i'm good to go the wig is complete i don't have to go back in with another step so um, i used to actually um teach lace last but now i teach lace first and i just let my students do whatever they feel is best um and as you guys can see this is how i'm doing my guidelines um i typically start from the bottom i just wanted to show you guys two different methods and um here's how it looks when you meet up in the middle but typically i start my guidelines um from the bottom to the top and I brought out the heavy duty machine, you guys. This machine goes super fast, so I don't recommend it for beginners in wig making on the sewing machine. I do recommend it for those who have a lot of orders um, and you need them completed in time. But I did learn how to slow down my heavy duty machine. I'll probably upload a video on that in case anybody is interested in learning how to slow down their super fast heavy duty machine but i just wanted to show you all how i pretty much completed the wigs and i add either an adjustable or elastic band to each and every wig that i make unless it's not requested here i am just doubling the tracks for the next set of wigs that i will be making all right so it's about 6 30 in the morning now I turned off my machine. I'm about to turn off my Married to Medicine binge watch session. <laughs> I can't talk, I'm so tired. But I started um, my markings on these three wigs. I'm gonna do a body wave, straight in, deep wave. And here are the units that I finished. I only finished about, I only finished about three units um, today. I just was, I really wasn't feeling it. So I finished three today, doubled the wefts on the bundles that I'll be using for the next three wigs. I need to get on these units because this is where the client provides the hair. So this is pretty much the fastest service um, that I provide when it comes down to wig making. Ooh, chow, another day, another dollar. Okay, so I have five wigs left to make and I'm making all of the extra large cap wigs so when i'm making extra large wigs these are the caps that i use i have it already sitting on my 23.5 dome head these bundles have already been doubled on my machine so i have a 23.5 head and a 24 inch head it currently has a wig on it so this is all that's left i'm so happy Y'all, I really put in work. And once I'm done with all of my custom wigs with my hair provided, I'll get to work on my client wigs. As you guys can see, I had a few more orders sent in. So I'm definitely going to tend to that. But first, I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> so I finally did it, you guys. I did it. 30 wigs all made if you see writing it's just to verify the um size cap that i use so some of these are large medium extra large and the length of the hair is also written on the inside as you guys can see i got more <laughs> more customers that sent in their own hair extensions so i'll be working on that and i'll document that in another vlog video I am so happy that I got through all of these orders in the time frame that I did. All that is left to do now is just um, customizing and styling them. Customizing by bleaching the knots, plucking the hairline, parting it down the center or to the side. Um, the body wave hair is going to get curled, the straight hair is going to be silk pressed, and the deep wave hair is going to be co-washed and detangled. I am so happy I was able to get through these orders. I do have some raw hair orders still over here. Um, these are going to be made into custom wigs. As you guys can see, I have some blonde hair over here. Deep wave, some body wave, raw wavy and straight. So I'm going to work on these as well. And yeah, 
Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next vlog video. Bye.